Ooh, let me scoot this down here a little bit. There we go. Well, everybody, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I hope you are enjoying it, your day or evening whenever you're watching this video. Please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell if you don't mind. Um, by the way, my name is Greg. <laughs> so, um, nice to meet you. If you're new here, um, we try to talk Washington Redskins, Washington Commanders, whatever you want to call them, the Washington football team. It is about Washington football here on this channel. We even have guest stars every now and then. Say hello to Coco. Anyway, uh, in this video, we want to kind of go over predictions, right? Uh, so, a prediction of what, honestly, what do we think that this team is capable of? Capable <laughs> What do we think this team is capable of in 2022 in terms of wins to losses, right? And so, you know, last year the team only mustered seven wins. They only won seven wins the year before, but yet they were NFC champions or NFC East champions, I should say. Last year was a kind of a disappointing year. There, were a, a, there was a lot of ambition and, well, it just, you know, expectations uh, were diminished because the defense just did not play really well and of course um, you know we expected to have have some uh, fits magic <laughs> and that magic fizzled out after a few plays in the first game of the season so you know we just really um, had some chances and last season just wound up just fizzling out for us. Okay, so now we're going into the 22 season. And right now, you know, hearing a lot of the talking heads and talking about the over-unders and stuff like that, a lot of people are giving the Washington Commanders an over eight games. They think that this team can at least muster eight games. And you know, you can take a look at the schedule, and I should have probably put the schedule up for this video, but you put the schedule up, and you look at the first few games of the schedule, and I feel like it's it's pretty winnable games. Now, the one game that's going to be very difficult, probably the Philadelphia Eagles game. Right now, the Eagles are the team that is really, a lot of people are saying a lot of good things about the Eagles because they got a lot of firepower on that offense, right? They got some receivers man this is going to be a very high powered team those philadelphia eagles and they don't have too bad of a defense either so washington's going to have their hands full in the nfc east with the philadelphia eagles so you know they got them early in the season but yet they got some very winnable games you know you're looking at the first four games they could be three and one easily uh, the commanders so you know, you're looking at very winnable games as you look throughout the this, this season. And so there is no reason why this team, unless that there, there starts to become like a lot of injuries to key players, right? You don't, you know, you really start to feel like, hey, on paper, this team can easily, especially if they get guys like Chase Young back at 100%, how can this team not win at least eight games? Now, does eight games get them into the playoffs? I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I think I think they definitely get into the playoffs at nine games. Um, but eight games may not be enough. It will be somewhat, you can say, well, it's improvement over the last couple of seasons. But, you know, you would like for this team to get into double-digit win, you know, column for the first time in forever, you know, since, what, 2012? But, you know, other than that, you just really you want this team to, to win football games. On offense, I have no doubt that this team is going to excel in offense. We've got the, the firepower as well. We've got, we're loaded on wide receivers. Um, we've got a very talented backfield. We got, I think, an upgrade at the quarterback position. Um, no, no offense to Taylor Heineke, but he's where he needs to be as far as a backup. If he comes off the bench, you know that's where he's best at, and as like a relief pitcher. So, 
you know, honestly, I think we are at the best shape that we can be offensively. It's really going to come down to how well that defense plays as well. You know, that defense cer- certainly still has some very weak spots. Um, I think I read somewhere um, today maybe that John Bostic has re-signed. I don't know. I have to see if that's true. If that is true, if John Bostic has re-signed, then, you know, he is – that will certainly lift the linebacker crew because right now that linebacker crew outside of Holcomb and, you know, Jamin Davis still, you know, jury's still out on Jamin Davis. He's going to have to see what his sophomore year is going to look like. But, you know, if Bostic did resign, that's going to be a big lift to that weak uh, linebacker position. And then the secondary, you know, you got some talent back there, but you also have some guys who get burnt. And a lot of times what happens is – the communication. Um, if these guys can ever learn how to communicate, then they got the talent to shut some guys down. It's just you see miscommunication all the time. And so the defense overall has some work, right? But I think overall, I think that this team does have the opportunity to win eight games. I think if they don't win eight games this year, it's going to be a bitter disappointment. I think Ron Rivera is going to be sick if they do not win eight games. And I think there's going to have to be this huge collapse if this team does not win eight games this year. Um, I really hope that there's going to be an over eight games. So my prediction is they're going to be nine and eight. I think that's where they're going to be at this year. I think they're going to lose some very close games that could have probably put them in a double-digit win column. And they're going to win some games that people did not expect them to win. So, you know, is that going to be enough to get them into the playoffs? They may back into the playoffs this year. But I think also they have to make the playoffs. So there you go. You know, is nine games going to be enough to get them into the playoffs? Hope so, because I think not only are they going to have to get into the playoffs, but they're going to have to win a playoff game. I think that's the only way you're really going to be able to measure that this team has taken a step forward is that they're able to get into the postseason and they're able to win a postseason game. Uh, they have talent on the team. They've had some guys on this team who, you know, like Carson Wentz, who um, has that experience. They just got to put it all together. And I, I think this team is coming together. I think Brian Rivera has built a really good team, a really good roster for the uh, 22 season. Now it's just time for them to really put in the work and show us what they can do on the field. Um, So let me know in the comments section what you think. Do you think that this team is at least an eight-win team? I think so. I I think that they have to be. Um, I think it's going to be a disappointment if they are anything less than that. Let me know in the comments section below again. If you are enjoying this channel, you want to support the Washington Football Maniacs, you can do that by subscribing, hitting that notification bell, please. So you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Come on, folks. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you want to support me in other ways, um, how about doing so by doing this? That seemed to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear